<laughs> so, hi everybody, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with... Michael. Jack. Jen. And they did the entire Museum of Interesting Things. They, did, they were here for like a week. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and now they've got these three items here that I'm going to... Uh, that they're one, they, Each one is going to open one of these, and I'm going to mix them up like a 40-second street shell game. Are you ready? You're never ready. Here you go. I'm going to mix them up like this. This is a 40-second street shell game. The only, and I actually am born and raised and remember the 40-second street shell games. The only difference is there isn't a quarter under any of them, so you don't win a quarter. Uh, and you don't even get to keep the shells. So uh, are you guys confused? Yeah. Good, because otherwise I'd have to do this all day long. Okay, so uh, pick an item, any item. You pick. You go first. Okay. And then you pick an item. You can go simultaneously. Wow. And then we've got your scalpels here. So that's for you. Uh, that's for you. We gave you the big one, ironically. Uh, and where's the other scissors? Oh, there it is. Uh -huh. Thank and you. that's for you. So go ahead. You can open them together. Now I'm really paranoid about I know, cutting right, the wrong um, way. Just don't cut each other. No, well, I'm more worried. I'm less <laughs> worried about cutting him than worried cutting what's inside. That's good, because I have quack medicine from the 1800s that I can figure out. And back then, we didn't suffer things like sterilizing it. A shot of whiskey and you're fine. <laughs> Even for the kids. <laughs> I don't know if they had a drinking age then, did they? In Probably the not. Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You okay, ready? You go first. Okay. Okay. If I can get it out. Don't read it. Just hold it. Oh, it's still being, you can say the country. I was going to say the first thing. Yeah. Okay, it looks old. That was some sort of poster thing, mm -hmm. but I don't know why. That actually arrived here a long time ago, and I've been wondering who's going to open that one. Careful when you take the glass mm -hmm. Okay, it's a mm -hmm. moment of truth. Other way. Uh, it's a mm -hmm. map. Oh! That's probably a transatlantic cable map. Oh, yes, it is. No. Oh. Yes, this is a transatlantic cable map that gives you where it was, and it's probably a few of the cables. Uh -huh. We'll show it to the television audience. What year is that from? So, so uh, there's probably a year on the bottom, if you can read that. I would say it's early 1900s. You can't. It, well, it's in, it's in another. It's in. Oh, this German. is a, yeah, it's a foreign right? map. But I don't see a year. So the transatlantic cable uh, is uh, right here. This isn't the cable that they're using because this is an earlier cable. But the first cable is from 1858. And that's the actual 1858 transatlantic cable. And this is a very special section. This section was sold for 50 cents in a shop you know, Tiffany's. In 1858, Tiffany sold extra sections of the cable as souvenirs. Because imagine, this was a huge deal to be able to communicate with Europe Instant in 1858. Yeah. Now imagine, Jack, they ran this line from America, this cable, all the way to England. To do that today would be tough if I told you to go to Home Depot and get some string and run the string to London, you'd be like laughing at me. But they did this in 1858. And they did it with this cable. And they used two boats. Two boats. One boat uh, traveled with a cable. And then another boat traveled with a cable. And then when they got to the center of the Atlantic Ocean, they put the two cables together. Wow. Kind of like when you did speaker wire behind the yeah. sofa at your mm -hmm. mom's place. Yeah, yeah this yeah. was the biggest sofa in the world. <laughs> it was the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> so yeah, big deal. Wow. So that's a cool one. And what did you open up? That's a very cool one. And wait a second. You wanted to be a writer. So the irony is that this would be, like, as a writer, you would be communicating using this. You would use the Morse code. So ironically, communication, writing. So I noticed that 80% of people in the museum open things that are kind of ironic to their personality. Mm -hmm. So it's funny that the writer would open up the transatlantic cable, which is one of my holy grail items in the museum. I know Whoa. the Morse code, Jingles. by the way. Wow, what could that possibly be? Money. No right? <laughs> Run while you can. <laughs> Jewels. Oh, wow. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Looks like an right. old Tiffany bag. It should be in the Tower no of idea. London. I, you should be by now, I can guess, and I have no clue myself. Oh, 
I know what this is. Kodak These are the Kodak. clips. Oh, the clips. These are the clips, the clips for the right oh. for the films. Oh, oh. Yeah, these are the films. I was wondering who's going to open these. I ordered these ages ago. <laughs> So these are actually the film clips. So if you have so clip you probably should have opened this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, right? Well, that's, I, it was that pointed was the towards one you were me. Grab. And then you grabbed it. Yeah. Well, that's, 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 oh, that's, that's just yeah, receipt. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I finally got the clips. I'm going to put these right now. This is a huge part of the show. Yeah. Everyone's going to be seeing these. You're going to be famous. Clips. <laughs> I got the clips. Okay, so yeah. this is supposed to be yours then, I guess. I guess so. And you know, I noticed that certain people, mm -hmm. will it'll flip. What is it? What is it? Masking tape? That is, is ticker actually... Tape? Ticker tape? That's better than ticker tape. That is far better. Uh, you opened a very, very serious, like, holy grail item. Let me put these away and tell you what you opened, because it belongs to this machine here, which is a World War II cipher machine. That is the tape for a cipher machine, it's a cipher. like the Enigma. Oh. Like secret like, code. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Game. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that's actually, yeah, no, you opened a cool item. <laughs> yeah, that is very cool. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're fine with this one. Yeah, I actually keep an Enigma part in my pocket when I do shows at all times. Just in case. Just in case, yeah, the, you know, the Germans. Are... So, yeah, that is my first roll. I've never seen the roll inside there. Oh, yeah. So that is a spare roll for, this is a Cypher 209 by, made by uh, Haglin is the company. So uh, that is the extra tape for it. And basically, you would do your code in here. So if you press the letter A, it might be a letter B. And it was encoding your messages. Code yeah. That's a really cool wow. item to open. I'm going to put it right on top of there. So now I have my extra thing. That's really fun stuff. Yay. Nice. <laughs> and we'll say goodbye to this gang. Bye, gang. Bye. Bye. <laughs>